Hi, and welcome to the Rotrex video tutorials. I'm Ben, and today I'm going to show you how to prime your Rotrex supercharger system. With the supercharger system installed in the vehicle, we're now going to fill the system with our specially developed SX150 tracking fluid. You can calculate the required amount of fluid for your system using the calculator on our website. First step is to fill the canister completely with traction fluid, not up to the max marking on the dipstick, but all the way up. We're then going to slightly loosen the banjo bolt on the inlet side of the supercharger. Using an air gun, we're carefully going to pressurize the canister to push the fluid through the filter and up into the supercharger. Use a rag or similar to create an air seal around the air gun and be gentle on the trigger. Once fluid starts coming out of the banjo, tighten it by hand. You can now release the pressure from the canister. Now the next steps have to be completed within a minute. If you don't manage, redo the procedure. Fill up the canister once more and start the engine. Look down into the canister using a flashlight. You'll see the fluid level drop. Be ready to top up with the remaining oil so that you reach the amount that you calculated earlier. Once the fluid starts returning from the supercharger and the cooler, the level should stabilize. Note that the fluid runs along the inside edges of the canister, so it can be difficult to see if there's flow. Let the system run for five to 10 minutes while checking for leaks or other issues. The banjos should be tightened to 21 newton meters. With the engine running at two to 3000 RPM, check the canister level using the dipstick. It should be between the minimum and maximum markings. If the level is too high, you'll risk overflowing at high revs. This is not dangerous, but it will create a mess in your engine bay. If the level is too low, you'll risk starving and damaging the supercharger. Don't forget to change the traction fluid after 80,000 kilometers, 50,000 miles, or two years, whichever comes first. You're now done priming your supercharger system. We hope this video has been helpful and we hope you have fun with your supercharger.